One of the best things about road trips is finding great places to eat. We are steering you in the right direction down Route 66 for a mouth-watering trip. El Reno is about two hours from Tulsa and is the home of the Onion Fried Burger, which was once referred to as the Depression Burger. And it's also the hometown of News on Six's Tess Monty, who's taking us on a summer adventure that requires packing an appetite. has really kind of put El Reno on the map. Onion burger capital of the world. Every corner on Route 66 here through town has a burger place. How cool is that? It's the original crossroads of America where Route 66 and Highway 81 meet in El Reno, Oklahoma. It's on this stretch of the Mother Road that the iconic Onion Burger was created in the late 1920s and is still making mouths water nearly 100 years later. They're great hamburgers. It's great burger. The dish is so in demand, El Reno is home to three onion fried burger joints, Sid's, Johnny's, and Robert's. Staples of this small town so satisfying, some might go to all three in one day. I like Sid's in the morning time, and I come here in the afternoon. <laughs> you, go there, you go to Robert's for dinner? <laughs> Shout out to Hans. The story goes an El Reno restaurant owner came up with the onion burger during the Great Depression when meat was expensive and onions were not. So he piled on onions to make the burger look bigger while keeping the cost down. A creation that continues to keep folks coming back for more. I don't think you could ever get tired of eating a fried onion hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Those old greasy hamburgers, they'll, they'll kill you. Did you know that? How old are you? How old are you? 83. I'm 82. They're going to kill us. <laughs> Otis Bruce and Robert Sanders are two El Reno burger legends. They both started working at Johnny's when they were just barely teenagers in the heyday of Route 66. About a half a mile deep at every stop line through this town and just constant traffic. Otis went on to own Johnny's, and Robert is the name behind Robert's Grill. They're both retired from the burger business now, but like to hang out at Sid's these days, eating, visiting, and lending a hand when they can. <laughs> That's Marty Hall. He owns Sid's, but he got his start at Johnny's, too, when he was 14. Flipping since 69. I've cooked over 5 million of them. He built Sid's, named after his dad, almost 35 years ago and his little diner has been gaining worldwide notoriety ever since. Food Network picked me number four in the nation. New York, Chicago, San Francisco, Little El Reno, and then somewhere back in California. We was picked number four in the nation. That's amazing, it's really amazing. Marty has now passed his homemade spatula onto his son, Adam. lesson on grilling up a famous El Reno onion burger. That is beautiful. Lunch, my friends. Oh my goodness. It tastes like home. El Reno's my hometown. I grew up eating these burgers, so I know they're often replicated, but never duplicated. All across Oklahoma and a lot of the United States, you may find an Oklahoma onion burger. But you're going to get the real thing in El Reno. El Reno knows a little bit more about how it's really done. Maps, photo albums, and notes show visitors from all over the world have stopped in, bringing a sense of pride to the burger boys of the past and present. I'm trying to fill these other guys' big shoes. I'm trying to keep the history going. You know, there's a lot of history behind it, and I'm, I'm proud to be trying to do that. Reno's history doesn't end with the onion burger. It's also home to Oklahoma's only rail-based trolley that takes folks on tours of the historic downtown. And no surprise, the burgers have a way of stealing the show. There's Robert's Grill.
What are we famous for? Those amazing onion fried burgers. Roberts is the smallest of the three, seats just 14, with an owner who's also spent almost his entire life behind the grill. I started working here when I was 12 and 79, mm -hmm. and I bought it in 89, so I've been here 44 years almost. Simple, good food, kind of a hometown deal. You know, you know everybody, kind of like cheers. That's the case across the board. No matter which place you pick, you'll be met with good food and even better people. So we make them feel at home, and I think that's what a lot of El Reno is, is it makes you feel at home. In my hometown of El Reno, Tess Monty, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.